And now another one of the biggest stories of 2018. Back in May, President Trump announced that the U.S. was pulling out of the Iran nuclear deal, fulfilling one of his election campaign promises. It's also one of the ways, like his approach to North Korea, in which Trump has overturned the policies of his predecessors. But in the case of Iran, U.S. allies broke with Washington and are standing by the deal. Kan hyung woo has this report. In 2015, Iran signed a long-term deal over limiting its nuclear program with a group of world powers, including the U.S., U.K., France, China, Russia, and Germany. Under the joint comprehensive plan of action, Iran agreed to limit its nuclear activities and allow international inspectors to check nuclear-related facilities in return for the lifting of economic sanctions. The International Atomic Energy Agency have consistently reported that Iran is complying with all nuclear-related commitments. But in May this year, President Trump announced that the U.S. was pulling out of the Iran nuclear deal. In just a short period of time, the world's leading state sponsor of terror will be on the cusp of acquiring the world's most dangerous weapons. Therefore, I am announcing today that the United States will withdraw from the Iran nuclear deal. The U.S. leader had long been opposed to the deal even before he became president, saying that the accord was a bad deal from the beginning as it did not address Iran's military influence in the Middle East and its ballistic missile program. After the U.S. withdrew from the Iran nuclear deal, others tried to keep the accord alive. British Prime Minister May, German Chancellor Merkel and French President Macron restated their continued commitment to the deal and vowed to work with all parties to assure its terms were upheld. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo presented the Trump administration's new strategy towards Iran, pledging to apply unprecedented financial pressure on the Iranian regime by imposing sanctions on oil and shipping. But Iran hasn't backed down. Iranian President Rouhani has warned his people that the country is facing a war situation and has vowed that Iran will continue to sell its oil and break the U.S. sanctions. Kanyo, Arirang News.